hello friends today in this uh, tutorial in this live stream i will be talking about a plugin which is called as bootstrap date picker so bootstrap basically it's uh, as you all know it's a front end framework and it has its own plugin which basically allows you to input a allow you to select a date inside your input feed so if i click on it you will see basically this calendar input field will be there here you will be able to select a particular date here just go to a particular year or month like this you can see you can go to a particular year particular month and open the calendar and pick a date and we will be displaying the selected date by the user you will see 15 this is actual syntax we are using somewhat moment.js to basically format the date that is selected by the user you will see 15th of february 2008 so this is displayed in a very formatted way and all the source code guys of this uh, example code is given in the description of this video i have written a complete blog post so you can go to the description to copy paste all the source code so we are using uh, bootstrap date picker so if you just don't know about this you can just google it this is basically the official website of this you will see they provide this widget that you can display on the website so now let's get started so for building it it's very easy you first of all need to basically include the cdn so now to basically include the cdn guys it's very easy you just need to include i have given in the description of the video first is a bootstrap date picker min.css and min.js and also this jquery is also required for this and also moment.js if you don't know about moment.js it's a date library for javascript if you just write moment.js it's a javascript date library which allows you to format any sort of date so we have included the cdn of all these libraries so now inside the body we just need to basically have a container class of bootstrap and we will say bootstrap date picker example so inside this guys we will basically have uh, a label and inside this label we will allow the user to select a date so this will be of type text input type text and uh, basically we will give it a id of date picker so that we can target in javascript date picker that's all and the one other input field will be there guys to basically show the selected date by the user so we will say selected date selected date and inside this we will again input type text and id will be here uh, selected date and this will be read only the user can't modify this so they can only read it that's all and now inside your javascript guys we will basically initialize the document ready function of jquery so when all the elements are loaded on the screen we will basically execute this function and inside this function guys we will basically target the element on which we need to embed the date picker we have initialized this live uh, you will see date picker we have given this id to it date picker and we are just targeting it sorry let me see date picker okay there is not a space here so simply like this so date picker it contains a method guys which is called as date picker and this takes some configuration options you can pass here basically the format of the date so this will be dd which stands for days mm for months and yyyy this is for the years this is the format and auto close is set to true and today highlight so today's date will be highlighted so true and start view will be zero and minimum view mode is also zero so these are some of the configuration options if you just open this 
if I you will see today's date will be highlighted which is 27th March 2023 which is highlighted with a yellow color and you can go to the previous date as well so when I select a date here guys this callback function is occurring so we need to catch this callback function so basically this callback function will be triggered using the on method and we can say on so whenever the date is changed whenever the change date is changed this callback function will execute and here we can simply say the selected date selected date we have given the id to it and here we can simply say the value we can change to it and for this we will use some moment js as well guys we will pass the selected date to this constructor of moment and here we will say e dot date this is a selected date and we will format this to this which is dd mm so whatever dd mm you will see that and y y y y so now if you see guys basically if i select a particular date 9th march 2023 we'll see 0903 2023 so I can't modify this date, it is only read only. If I change it, you will see the date will change. If I change the year, month, you will see that. If I change the year as well, so you will see that. So in this way guys, you can integrate the bootstrap date picker inside your browser using simple JavaScript. So thank you very much for watching this video. All the source code is given in the description of the video.